What's going on guys? Bustle Pay 6 here, back to our video today. I have an album review for you guys. Before I actually get into this album review, I do want to address two things uh, as to the lack of videos that has been happening on my channel. First off, I had a different schedule change for work. I'm filling in for a co-worker who's currently go to, uh, who just had surgery. And well, that kind of leads into the next thing. I suffer from pneumonia. So that's always fun. So yeah, if you hear me or see me looking a little uncomfortable or I'm not sounding the great, not the great, I'm not sounding the best, you guys understand why. But I do want to shout out to all the people that have reached me out on my socials and wish me the uh, best of luck when it comes to me getting better. But I'm feeling a little bit better now. I feel a lot better than I did a couple days beforehand. So thank you guys for all that. With that being said, I'm going over the latest studio offering from Morbid Saint, What's Swallowed by Hell. This album comes out on the 9th of February of 2024 on High Roller Records. This is our third studio album overall. And I was banned for the 1984 in Sheboygan, Wisconsin, which is somehow a word that I always tend to say. Oh, that's Sheboygan. Never mind. My apologies. I'm an idiot. So... I've always heard of this band, mainly because of their debut album, Spectrum of Death, that came out in 1990. And I have heard a couple snippets of that album, mainly the song Lock of Your Children, which I think was a single that they released. And I thought that was a really damn good stuff. Like, it was borderline death thrash, which I absolutely loved. And I feel like this band's always been one of the most overlooked bands considering they were in the underground and thrash in the 90s it really hit their peak at like the early early stages and then towards the middle late period it was really going out of style and thrash bands of, of the 80s were kind of on their way out and then the 2000s came and then you have the whole metalcore scene but you also have the re revitalization of thrash like bands like havoc Evil, uh, Warbringer, and even the old guards like Metallica, Testament, Anthrax, Exodus, uh, even the German side like Solemn, Creator, Destruction, uh, uh, Megadeth, uh, just so many of those are thrash acts, Overkill to a lesser extent. And this band kind of laid low. Now, they did record uh, a demo in 1992 called Destruction System. But that wouldn't get released until uh, 2015 when that was around the time that they regrouped. And it's been nine years since they released an album since. And there were some expectations going in with this album. And I will say they did not disappoint, at least in my opinion, when it came to this album. Because, well, I'm actually going to get into the album right here, right now. So we kick off with the opening track, Rise from the Ashes. And immediately just kicks off right in the game with these brutally heavy riffs and they give me a really big vibe of like enforced and maybe to a lesser extent oh man like almost like a little bit of a havoc kind of feel almost warbringer esque but like very 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 heavy and the vocal style is absolutely amazing and the vocals throughout the entire album have those like really dry raspy kind of uh like style almost like kind of screams to a lesser extent like it really reminds me of mark from dark angel and mainly tom angel ripper from sodom but if you listen a little closely at least in my opinion it almost kind of sounds a little bit like sheepdog from razor a little bit but that just may might be me or hell, even times it kind of sounds like the vocals for War or the vocals from Warbringer, and in terms of he's got that like really raspy kind of growl to it, and the drums are just insane machine gun fire, and the bass is really damn good. And I will say the bass work on this album absolutely incredible, and then you get to the title track where it's this really ominous kind of spoken word and then it gets into those riffs and really slayer-esque in a way and i absolutely absolutely love that 
and the song just balls to the wall insane and just hits you right in the face and gives zero shits about it. But it doesn't happen all the time. There's some times where, yeah, it's like, like blasphemous, like bullet trim thrash, but you also have your groovier moments like uh, the third track, Bloody Floors, where the bass line's incredible on that song in particular. Like, really nice bass line, and then it gets right into those riffs, and it just goes full on bullet trade aggression. And again, with those groovier moments, it kind of leads into the little bit of the longer songs, like on Fear Incarnate, uh, this, this, this track I really love, Fuck Em All, Bleed Em Dry, and Psychosis. Those songs in particular are over the five and a half minute mark, but they really have these nice mid-tempo, almost kind of blackened kind of tremolo riffs. Like, I wouldn't say blackened thrash because the vocals don't really have that blackened style, but they do have those blackened tremolos and it's really, really, really damn cool. And there's also like really cool gang vocals like the aforementioned Fuck Em All, Bleed Em Dry, and... Uh, Pine Tuxedo, which I have no idea what the hell that even is. Like, some of the songs are a little goofy, but but they're having fun with it, which I can certainly understand from their point of view. And then you've got a song like Killer Instinct, where that song in particular may be one of my favorites because of just how amazing it is. And I really love the groove of that song in particular. And, again, the vocals are amazing. The The... Uh, bass line and especially the drums really carry that track throughout but the the last track Psychosis really reminds me of Rain and Blood like that da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. like that track like that like kind of like riff in particular really reminds me of Rain and Blood and I absolutely love it and then you also got like Burn Pit where you know those gang vocals kind of kick in a little bit and it's absolutely great. Really reminds me of Enforced to a lesser extent. Now, if I do have a complaint or two, I will say there's maybe one or, like, they do kind of rely on some sample intros, like, a little too much on the songs, but they're just kind of, they come, it kind of comes and goes. Like, it's there, and then it's gone immediately. And, it, like, it almost happens on nearly every single track, but... Again, it doesn't overstay its welcome. It kind of gives like a little detail of what's all going on. But again, it doesn't overstay its welcome and I fairly enjoy it. And I will say maybe production, maybe the drum, maybe the kick drum just sounded a tad bit thin. But I can easily overlook that. So all in all, I fairly enjoyed this record. I'm going to give this four and a quarter star. This album kicks so much ass. Welcome back, Morbid Saint. And yeah, so far my favorite thrash album of the year. This is some heavy, disgusting stuff from start to finish. Like if you loved Slayer meets Enforced with almost Razor kind of like riffs, but in a way kind of bring in that almost kind of hardcore like groove to it, you'll fairly enjoy this album as much as I did. So. Yeah, four and a quarter star, absolutely amazing, amazing album. So what did you guys think about Swallowed by Hell by M Morbid Saint? Let me know in the comment section below. Make sure you guys leave a like, leave a comment, tap that big red subscribe button, and tap the bell so when I upload, you guys will be notified. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Most importantly, join her. Talk to you in the next video. Peace out.